In this video, I'm gonna show you the absolute best settings for Once Human after the 1.3 update. And if you find this video helpful towards the end, please drop a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Now let's get straight into it. Now from the main menu, let's go to settings. And here in game settings, we're gonna go to gameplay. And for the guide settings, keep everything the same. And for the camera controls, keep the screen shake intensity to zero. And for the camera distance, if you like extra field of view, then you can set it to 100. And if you don't want that, you can reduce it to whatever number you like. For the camera height, we're gonna go for 10. Camera auto follow, set it to off. Camera auto follow when using a flashlight, set it to yes. Camera auto follow during melee attacks, keep it on. Camera position in OTS mode, keep it on. Environment follow, set it to no. Auto toggle flashlight, set it to no. Vehicle camera, on. Change FOV with vehicle speed, set it to on. And now for the control, set the quick use items to on. Quick switch weapon by scrolling, set it to partial so that you can switch between two weapons and for the melee you can just press 3 and select it. For the quick switch weapon, set it to on as well. Automatically switch ammo when mag empty, set it to on. Automatically switch weapon when mag empty, set it to on as well. Sprint to interrupt reload, set it to off. Sprint to interrupt gun cocking, set it to off. Crouch to stop sprinting, set it to on. Melee in OTS mode, set it to on. Auto vault, set it to off. Interaction response, set it to very fast. And for the deviation handling mode, set it to simple. Now let's go to the control settings. For the key bindings, set sprint to hold, crouch to press, world map to press, aim to press, and OTS to hold. Now for the weapon fire controls, set the pistol fire controls to hold, shotgun fire controls to hold as well. Now for the camera sensitivity, set the sensitivity coefficient to 300, third person standard to 50, third person OTS to 50, lastly set the mouse smoothing to 50 as well. You can change these settings if you like to play with inverted axis, but I just keep it the same. Now for the keyboard and controller settings, we're gonna keep them the same. Now under the graphics, we're gonna go to basics and for the display mode, set it to full screen and for the resolution, set it as it is and for the brightness, set it to max. Now for the performance settings, set the graphics quality to high, max frame rate to 120. For the image enhancement, if you have an AMD GPU, set it to AMD FSR and if you have an NVIDIA GPU, just set it to DLSS. And for the super resolution, we're gonna set it to balance, we're gonna set the texture quality to high Render scale to 100, anti-aliasing to medium, shade to low, VFX to high, and we're gonna disable the V-Sync. Now for the motion blur, we're gonna keep it to low or just disable it, but if you want, you can just set it to medium or high. Now for the detail, we're gonna set it to low, and for the vegetation density, we're gonna set it to medium. Now to apply the settings, press F. And now we're gonna go to sound settings. Now for the sound settings, set the master volume from 80 to 100, and for the music volume, you can set it to whatever number you like. I prefer to keep it to 50, but for now, I set it to 10 as I'm recording. And for these other settings, you can set it to your preference, but I just keep it the same. Now for the voice chat, it's all up to personal preference, so just set it as you please. And now, after we're done with the settings, we're gonna press escape to go back to the menu. I hope you found this video helpful. I wish you good luck while playing in this new scenario. And you can check out these videos as well. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, take care and thank you for watching.